Hi everybody and welcome to another journal collection video and some of these journals actually have matching stickers which I bought off AliExpress a while ago. Um, if you hear the humming in the background it's just my freezer. Um, I had to spread out so it's just easier if I go in this room. Okay we'll start off with here. This is Vampire Diaries. This is an Insight. What's it called? Yes Insights Journal. I've got two of these. Um, and I also got a whole lot of Vampire Diaries stickers as well. I don't know if these are still for sale. But I've already watched the series. I'm going to watch it again in the new year. And obviously use this journal. And I've got a whole lot of different Insight journals which I'll show you in a minute. But these are just some of the stickers. I love this show and M Ian Summerholder. Yes, it's very nice. Oh, there's a couple of legacy stickers in here as well. And a few of the random um, vampire stickers. Oh, and the originals too. And I also got uh, a knockoff. If you've seen the show, you'll know what these are. These are Stefan and Damon's rings. They're going to focus. There we go. Oops. That way. That way. No, it's not looking to focus. Anyway, so that's the uh, vampire rings. I've got four different sets of different stickers, but I won't. If you're not interested in the show, yeah, it'll bore you to death, but um, that's what these, what those are. And then another show that I've enjoyed watching is The Walking Dead. So I got these from Paper Plus, I think, a couple of years ago. Oops, a bit dust. Sorry about the, the shine. And I got Walking Dead stickers online as well. Three packs of these. Whoops, it's a random Halloween-y one. That's just... Characters of the show and just some random Walking Dead zombie type stickers. So that's just all of them. And I'm only about two seasons in The Walking Dead, so once I start watching it again, I'll start this journal. $4.99 is actually a really good, we really see Insight Journals um, and they're definitely not $5, they're usually about $20. That's another Insights one. And then oh, another Insights one I got was Ghostbusters. And then I got Ghostbusters stickers as well. I love this film as a kid, showing my age. When I was in New York, um, my friend found out where the fire station was, where they actually filmed, where the Ghostbusters, where their home base was, and actually on the inside of the fire station, they had still had the big, this big sign up, um, a few, yeah. And they also had the um, Ghostbusters sign outside the front of the fire station as well. So that was pretty cool. So when I watch this movie again, I will start watching the journal. Uh, watching the journal. Using the journal. I haven't actually seen the, the latest re... Uh, filming of the Ghostbusters. I like the old one. I like the originals. I don't like the remakes at all. That's that one. And then I got only one from the Chocolate Factory. Insight Journal. Sorry about the glare, but it's got the chocolate bars on the back. 
no stickers for that one. I tried, but I don't think there's any available. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, oh, and the last insights. Oh no, there's a couple more. I've got Outlander. I've just finished watching the first series of this, and once I start, <clears throat> I think I'm probably going to use all of these, all my insert ones, insight ones, one after the other. But that's the. Oops. Front cover. And back the pocket. And of course I got some stickers as well off AliExpress when um, Outlander first came out. you real quickly How's everybody's journaling going? I hope it's going well. I've just started a new journal, which I love. It's probably my favourite part of journaling actually is starting new journals. It's always a tough decision on what to use, which one to use next. I was just wondering how do you guys choose um, which journal to use? And the last Insights one is Back to the Future. This was from the second Back to the Future. It's the um, hoverboard emblem on his flying skateboard. And I got some stickers to match from AliExpress again a few years ago. Pretty cool. And what else have we got? What's that got this journal? This I think was from the warehouse. Actually, no, it's from Kmart. I haven't actually opened this one before. So it's got, I probably can't tell, but the lines are orange. Which is quite unusual for a journal. Um, and then orange back and front. Oh, that's quite cool. Because for me, I don't know how, how it came to be, but um, for me, rainbows are a symbol of hope. I'm not quite sure how that came about, but they are for me. And it's just hard back. This one is from Disney. So that must be from the warehouse, I think. I believe in naps, yes, very much so. Oh, it's got Winnie the Pooh on the corners, a four size. These ones I found at, at op shops and I think these were originally warehouse stationery. 
And I love that saying, leave your fears behind. Oops. And it's just got plain, plain lines, quite dark. Hard back. And another one from the same place, start somewhere. Another good quote. Oh, this one's got a bookmark. Oh. oh, look at this. It's obviously one I got from... Right, we won't show that. Not that it's my uh, details, but it's obviously someone... Interesting. to rip those pages out and then this little Japan one Japanese themed and then there's a little bookmark I think maybe that's supposed to be cherry blossoms maybe I remember when these size journals came out um, I think these first came out when I was a kid. This is obviously a later... Who's it by? Oh, Spencil. Yeah, this is a later... Um, later design. And obviously came with a keychain, but I don't worry about that. And then each page is... Each page has that. Quite cute. And then along the same theme, same size. There's another little what I call a travel journal um, the ethnic type clothing this one's got its lock and oh yeah it does have a bookmark so I presume it's got the same sort of thing like this another Spencil Spencil one and then New York this was warehouse stationery, I think. Basic lines. And my Doctor Who one. This one I got online, and that's just another tag of a, of a t-shirt, so I put it in there so I wouldn't lose it. It's a TARDIS one. Um, and then I got this journal from, and I, this one was from Poland. And it's got grid paper. I'm not quite sure with the margins on that side. There's obviously a reason. Maybe it's supposed to be something to do with a maths book. I have no idea, but anyway. I like that because it was a... Overseas scene, and then we've got Berlin. There's a whole, there was a whole series of these actually. I would have got them all apart from the fact that they were quite expensive. Um, I got them online, but I like the, the drawings of all the buildings, and I've actually got cards, I think, from memory. That match that. Okay, what else have we got? We've got this one. It's from the warehouse. And I love this. This reminded me of a winter coat. This pl played, not played, whatever you call it, checkered design. So I quite like that. And it's just got normal lines. This was from the warehouse. Yeah, it really reminded me of winter. I think this would be a good journal to use in winter. Because it reminds me of winter coat. And then this is another one I got at the same time again from the warehouse. This looks very hand handmade. The back's the same. Of the woven a notebook. The only thing I would improve is this. Why on earth did they make the bookmark this colour? I'm going to actually cut it off. They should have made the bookmark one of these colours 
in here but this just does not go with it at all so that's going to be cut off when I use it because it's just wrong this is a $2, uh, two dollar discounty shop one has autumn this was from and I'm going to excuse my pronunciation yo 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 so yo so so whatever that shop's called uh, I thought that was very cute save the world pug and it doesn't have a bookmark and then from the same series look at that face isn't that cute very cute and then I got this one it's the first um, A4-ish size journal that I've found and I got it because it was so big and fluffy and I think this is actually a sketchbook and this is from Kmart and it's got blank pages I thought that was cool, seeing as I'm using A4 journals this year, I thought that would be quite good. And these ones. This was from, I think, Warehouse Stationery back in the day. I've obviously put something in there. What's this? Hang on a sec. Oh, that's right. I must have been going to use it, and I've put the New Zealand theme writing paper in there. I vaguely remember doing that. And then this one. It's good to use when you need a holiday. This was from Typo, I think. Pocket in the front. I love that design. And still on the same travel theme. Hi, sorry, I'm, reco Hi, I'm, reco I'm recording. It's all right, come through if you need to. And this one. This one I got from Typo as well. Road less travelled, that was just my landladies because I'm in the garage, I'm in there sort of so I could spread out. Another typo one. And another travel one. Reminds me of California. Again, pocket in the front. Typo again, this one I've shown you, and this one, another typo one, and this one's got pockets, a couple of pockets throughout, and that's the design, I think that's pretty much all my journals from what I can remember, so I hope you've enjoyed this and have a great day, thanks, bye.